Hi there! In this video we are going to talk about system dynamic and modeling tools. Um, there are two main system dynamic tools, the soft tools and the hard tools. Soft tools are uh, causal loop diagrams and the hard tools are the computer models and they are based on stock and flow, diagram, stock and flow diagrams. Let's begin with an informal explanation. Positive causal link shows a directly proportional relationship between two variables. If the variable one goes up, the other goes up as well. Variable B goes up as well. If one goes down, the other goes down as well. We represent a causal link, a positive causal link by an error, arrow, and the signal plus. Professor term definition is more formal. Let's read this. All SU equal, if X increases, then Y increases, above what you have been. In case of accumulation, X adds to Y, adds to Y. Let's see some of his examples. If we increase product quality, we increase the sales, if we increase the efforts, we increase the results, if we increase the birth, we increase the population. Let's see now negative causal link. Negative causal link shows the inversely proportional relationship between two variables. If one goes up, the other goes down. If one goes down, the other one goes up. We represent negative causal link by an arrow and the signal minus. Let's see Professor term definition again. All is equal. If x increase, then y decrease below what it would have been. That's important. In the case of accumulation, x subtracts from y. Let's see another of his examples. If you decrease the produce price, probably you increase the sales. If you increase the frustration, probably you decrease the results. If you increase the death, probably the population will decrease. That's the resume of this theory so far. Let's do some other exercise. These exercises are based on the book, seeing the forest for the trees. What about workload and ability to cope? Yes, if you increase the workload, the ability to cope will decrease. So it's a negative uh, uh, causal link. Let's see the other one. Ability to cope and incidence of error. What do you think? Well, if you decrease the ability to cope, probably you increase the incidence of error. So it's a negative causal link. And what about incidence of error and strain on management? Well, as you increase the incidence of error, you increase the strain on management. What about strain on management and workload? Well, if you increase the strain on management, you increase the workload as well. That's the end of lecture 10. I hope you enjoyed it. See you soon. Bye.